so excited to have you on the show. Good to see you, Chris. That's Good to awesome. see you, too. I see, I see you've got the 5 o'clock shadow. Perpetually. Yeah. Always. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, one of the funny things about making razors is if you're clean shaven, and everybody gives you a hard time, says, well, you obviously don't need your product. Right. But if you grow a beard, everyone says, well, you obviously don't use it. It's like, you can't win. No. You really can't. <laughs> no. so. Let's start from the beginning. Tell me about Portland Razor Company. So Portland Razor Company, first and foremost, is a manufacturing company. We make straight razors and shaving accessories here in Portland. We do pretty much everything ourselves. Um, it's part of why we identify really closely with Grove Made, why we really like these guys. So shout out. Thank you guys for your support <laughs> over the years. And um, we, just in the last year, actually started a, a second project called Portland Shave Shop. It's a full-service barber shop. It, kind of started as a testing ground for some new product that we're doing. Yeah. Um, most of our, most of our uh, customers are all end users, guys shaving at home. Mm -hmm. um, just in the last year, we started making products for professionals, so barbers and stylists can start using our product in their shop. So. Yeah, yeah, and, and you, you've come at it with multiple uh, directions. Like, you use different materials uh, for the holds. Um, your razors, like you said, are manufactured here in Portland. Um, clue us in on kind of the process of making a razor. Sure. I mean, the, the, the first part, obviously, is starting with the right materials, right? So yeah. starting with a good blade steel, whether it's high carbon or stainless, um, and then the, uh, the scales is the, the handle, the piece that it folds into. You can make that out of pretty much anything. Classically, they're made out of celluloid plastic bone. Um, we're making them now out of kind of some updated materials. So we're working with things like uh, G10, and um, you know modern acrylics and, and uh, no I don't know still doing G that. <laughs> no G10 and modern acrylics uh, so, so G10 is kind of a cool material it's it's chemically resistant uh, it's high impact so th this is part of what makes the uh, the professional line kind of unique is that we're we're using these updated materials to make something more durable mm -hmm. uh, for professionals that they can sanitize well and, and use in their shops. Mm -hmm. And they're also a beautiful showpiece. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys have been on Portland Razor Company's website, but... I actually brought a visual aid if you need one. Yeah, I would love a visual aid. <laughs> so take my word for it that this thing is sharp, so don't test it with your thumb or anything, but you're welcome to uh, handle that. Ooh. Check this out, everybody. Right. right, Marvin? Yeah. You probably need this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Check that out. And so, this is a straight razor. It is. Now, when, you know, I grew up in the times of Mach 5s and 15s, where we have multiple blades on a safety razor that we get from Target, mm -hmm. tell me about the straight razor. So, the first most obvious difference besides the form factor is just that this is not a disposable blade, yeah. right? It, you can relatively quickly develop the skills to take care of this and keep it sharp mm -hmm. so that you never have to buy another razor, right? So it's good economically. Um, mm -hmm. There's nothing to throw away. There's no plastic here that can't be recycled. So it's better for the environment in that respect. It's, it's a permanent shaving solution. And that's really the part that I identify most closely with and, yeah. and why I keep doing this. Yeah. Um, you know, making razors is cool. Getting to make a product with my hands is something I never thought I would get to do. Uh, but at the end of the day, the reason I keep doing it is because it lets me talk about these other things, about being more conscientious about the tools we use and the things we consume and um, taking care of our, our things and the people around us. Yeah. So. It's more, it's a more sustainable product. Absolutely. Because even with the uh, one blade, safety blades, yeah, pass that on to Marvin, um, you have to throw out the blades, but this blade is going to last you for quite some time. Mm -hmm. uh, or is this like a lifetime blade? How long do the blades last? If you take care of it, it'll last your lifetime and maybe another generation or two. Wow. We don't know yet because we haven't lived that long. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Marvin. <laughs> But, uh, you know, we're using similar processes to razors that were made one or two hundred years ago okay. and are still around and still usable. Yeah. So you're building legacy pieces. We're trying to. Here in Portland. Yeah. Um, let's talk more about the shave shop. Uh, okay. uh, so, you know, as a man, uh, like I shave at home often, mm -hmm. all the time. Um, to have the opportunity to come into a shave shop and actually get a shave mm -hmm. is quite a luxury. 
you know. Um, it's an experience. It's an experience. Yeah. Uh, uh, tell me about that experience as I walk through the door of the Portland Shave Shop. Man, so the the it's kind of like a facial uh, with a knife. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, it's about a lot more than just removing the hair, right? Yeah. So one thing that I love about barbershop culture and what I've learned about working in this industry is um, it doesn't matter whether you're a carpenter or a doctor or prime minister, like everybody's on an even playing field as soon as you sit in that chair, you're king for a day, mm -hmm. right? Um, so in that respect, like all of the focus on, is on you and, and creating kind of the best experience. Yeah. Um, after that, there's a lot of, I guess, practical steps. So prepping the face and prepping the hair. And these are things you can do at home too with like traditional wet shaving mm -hmm. um, practices. But uh, it's, it's on another level having someone else who's a professional at it really take care of you um, for that hour. Yeah, so. yeah, excellent. Um, I'll be coming in soon uh, for my guests uh, here and at home. How can they get in touch with the uh, Portland Shave Shop and Portland Razor Company? At Portland Razor Co. on Instagram is our biggest one. At Portland Shave Shop. Um, PortlandShaveShop.com if you want to make an appointment. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> one more thing, we actually have to give a shout out to yes. our good friend. Uh, you might notice we're wearing amazingly cut coats uh, from Ooh. our good friend Joe Mueller at Wildwood and Company. Um, so shout out to Joe. He said we should both wear the suits because we're both clients of his. But yeah, you That's look good. great. <laughs> Looking sharp, brother. Uh, Hunter, thank you so much for coming out. Can I get a round of applause?